Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about a theorem in geometry called the Reflections in Parallel Lines Theorem. So a composition of two reflections in parallel lines results actually in the transformation of a translation. Okay, so remember a reflection is when we flip an object over a line of reflection and it's kind of like it's mirror image. So if we do that twice, that's what a composition means, we're doing two reflections. So we reflect something this way and then we reflect it back um, an, over another line then the orientation of our third shape will be the same orientation as our first shape. So it, it can be transformed by just a translation or a slide. So we have a little diagram that we can look at and then we're going to do one example together. It says if A prime prime, so we're talking about this point right here, if A prime prime is the image of point A, then there's a couple things that are true. Okay, so a couple things we've got the line segment A, A prime prime. So A, A prime or, oops, or A all the way to prime prime, okay? That segment right there is perpendicular to both lines K and to lines M. Another thing that we can say is that the distance from A to A prime prime, so from A to A prime prime is two times D, where D is our distance between the two parallel lines. Okay, so just some properties that we can uh, prove about this diagram. Okay, so let's look at an example. It says the distance between line K and line M is two centimeters. Okay, so that's important to note. Okay, this distance right here is two centimeters. We have uh, two parallel lines, K and M. We have an original image, which is the blue triangle. Then we have one reflection, which would be the green triangle. And then we reflect the green triangle to form the pink triangle. So as you can see, from the blue image to the pink image, that's the first question they're asking us. What single transformation maps the blue figure to the pink figure? Well, the orientation is the same, right? It's not turned, it's not flipped. Um, there, are the right angle box is in the bottom left hand corner, right? So we could say this was simply a translation. And that's what we saw at the beginning when we talked about this theorem is that if we reflect or if we do a composition of reflections over two parallel lines, uh, then the resulting figure could be performed with just a translation. Now it says, how do lines or the line segment R, R prime relate to line K? Well, these lines are perpendicular, okay? And we saw that right up here in our theorem, right? And the last question, what is the distance between R and R prime prime? So this distance right here, okay? Well, we saw up in our diagram that that distance is two times the distance between the lines. The distance between our lines is two centimeters, so we would say this is four centimeters. And that is the reflections in parallel lines theorem. Mm -hmm.